Hi students, welcome back to Chakravarti E Classroom. Today we are going to discuss one simple question from percentages chapter. It's a good question actually. I have taken this question from SSC CGL Tier 1 examination. Alright, to do this question students, you must have complete conceptual clarity of percentages, a little amount of ratios and most importantly the unitary method so that you can do this question very very easily within the stipulated time with more than 100% accuracy okay right how to start this question first as it is read the question properly uh, how they have given a person gives 30% of his salary to his friend and 40% of the remaining remaining this is very important we discussed many many questions in our regular course on this remaining concept in percentages okay 40% ah, of the remaining salary he invests in stocks he invests the remaining salary again remaining salary uh, in insurance schemes and PPF in the ratio of 4 is to 3 then if the difference between the total amount invested in stocks insurance schemes together and the amount gives to his friend is 19,800 find the salary of the person See students, this question can be done using unitary method concept. If you have the clear idea of the unitary method, this question is cake swap for you. Already we have discussed more than two to three hours in our regular course. Anyway students, for the students who are watching this video, in a nutshell I will explain you what is the gist of unitary method. Simple unitary method means first you start the question with the any of the number number of your choice your convenience any imaginary number you just take one imaginary number as the total salary then even though you have taken the number on your own you should not deviate the conditions with your imaginary number go with the conditions given in the question all right what are the conditions 30 percent to his friend then 40% of the remaining in stocks, again remaining, remaining, whatever it may be, you go with these conditions with your imaginary number. Finally, you will arrive at a conclusion. Conclusion means in the form of a number. After if taking imaginary number, going with the conditions, you will get one figure, imaginary figure. That resultant imaginary figure must be compared with the actual figure given in the question. After comparison, directly you can go to the answer. This is the basic of unitary method. Many, many parts are there in unitary method, but to what extent it is uh, useful for us? For this question, I have explained you that one. Okay, now start with the imaginary number here. Imaginary number, any number, whatever it may be, but that must be convenient for us for the uh, simplification, further simplifications. Generally, in percentages, we take the total as 100% or 100 rupees, whatever it may be. Whichever is convenient for you, you go with that one. Either 100% or 100 rupees. Why 100% only? Because in percentages, denominator is 100 only. So easily the cancellation won't be any problem. By the way, students, for this question, very, very simple simplification will be there because question is very simple. And for that matter, you need not write anything on the paper also. If you have enough practice, adequate practice, need not write anything on the paper. Okay, now let's start in this way. I am taking the total salary as a 100%. I am telling you one more time, maybe 100% or 100 rupees. Whichever is convenient for you, you take that one. Okay, now from this 100%, what, what is the first condition they have given? Gives 30% of the salary to his friend and 40% of the remaining, remaining, remaining. So first you need to find out what is the remaining uh, salary after giving 30% to his friend. How much is remaining here? From this 100%, I am doing minus 30, minus 30% 30 to his friend, FRD I am writing. Okay, from 100%, he gave 30% to his friend. The remaining is 70%. Okay, now another iteration they have given to his friend and 40% of the remaining salary he invests in stocks. 40% of the remaining, remaining is 70, 70 now. From this 70, 40% of the remaining salary in stocks. What is 40% of 70%? Very simple, need not write anything. 7 4 is 28. 
So, 40% of this 70 is 28, 28%. Alright, 40% of this one that is equal to 28% he invested in stocks. Done. Up to this extent, no confusion, right? First started with 100%, 30% to his friend, remaining in 70 from the 70, 40% gone means 28% gone. If they further say that from the remaining, again you going, you are going to uh, repeat the iteration there. 28% gone. Now you see, he invests the remaining salary, remaining salary. That means after investing 28% from this one. After investing, I actually 40%. 40% is 28. After investing this amount, from the remaining or from the remaining, he invested in two parts he had invested. Okay. So, how much is the remaining here? 70 minus 28 means 42%. Alright. From this 42%, from this one, he had invested in two ways. Two parts he had invested. One is in insurance scheme and other one is a PPF in the ratio of 4 is to 3. Now here simply this is insurance I am writing and this is PPF in the ratio of 4 is to 3. Done. Up to this extent I think it is clear for all of you. Now he invested 4 is to 3. Now he found out the actual figure in this way. How? If the difference between the total amount invested in stocks, insurance schemes together and the amount given to his friend is 19,800. Now see students, he has taken the difference. Difference of what he invested in stocks and insurance schemes together. Together, this one and this one together and the difference between this amount and the amount gave to his friend is 19,800. Simple. But here small problem is there. What is the problem here? I need to find out the difference between this figure plus this figure and this figure. But these two are in percentages. But this is in ratio. Now what I need to do here? I need to convert this one also into percentages so that the simplification will be easier for me. How to convert this one? Very simple. 42% divided into two parts, four parts and three parts. What is the value of the four parts? Simple one, four plus three, seven. Seven, six are 42, four, six are 24. 24% is one part and 18% is the other part, six, three is 18. Don't get confused. You got the idea? What I have done here, I have divided 42 into two parts, 4 and 3. If you still get any confusion, 4 plus 3, 7, what I have done, I need the four parts. So, 4 by 4 plus 3, 7 into 42. That's all. This is what I have done. This is what I have done. But instead of writing this one on the paper, 4 plus 3, 7, 7, 6 of 42. 6 parts, 1 part equal to 6. 6 into 4 parts, 24%. 6 into 3 parts. 18%. Of course, this 18 is not required for me. Now, go further here. As far as the conditions they have given, with my imaginary number, what is the resultant figure you take? What is the resultant figure here? The difference between adding these two and this one they have asked. So, here it is 28 plus 24, 40, 48, 50, 52. 52 minus 30. This is what they are asking. 52 minus 30. So, that is 22 percentage. Okay. So, directly also you can do here. This is 30, 28. 30, how much more than 28? 2 percent more than that one. That 2 must be deducted from this one. You will get 22 percent. Now, see students, what I have done. The This is the beauty of the unitary method. I started with my own number. I started with the number of my own choice. Okay, started with 100%. Went with the conditions given in the question. Finally, I got the figure as 22%. What is this 22%? 22% is the difference between the total amount invested in stocks, insurance schemes together and the amount gave to his friend. That is 22%. But actually, 
in the problem they have given this one as a 19,800. That means final step in the unitary method is this one. What is that? 22% of the total salary is 19,800. Then 100% of the salary is how much? That's it. This is what we have been doing in percentages for many questions using the unitary method. Here you need not even convert the percentage to fractions also. Generally, I convert that one to fraction. That depends upon the question. Here, no need to convert this one. Directly, you can go like this. Go for the simplification here. Actually, how you need to do? 100 by 22 into 19,800. Our direct simplification from here also you can do. Uh, this is 11 2 times. 11 ones, 11 eights, 2 zeros. Then 2 nine hundreds. So my answer is 100 into 900. Anyway, whichever is convenient for you, you do. After 900, 2 zeros. And this is my answer. 90,000 is my answer. Then go for the options and check that one. Here they have given 90,000 here in option number B is the final answer. I hope this is clear for all of your students. I explained you with a little more pace. If you feel that is okay, that's okay. Otherwise, you can watch the video one or two times so that the concept will be clear for you. And students, for that matter, no, uh, what do you call this one? Very difficult concept is discussed here. Simple concept, actually. This is percentages concept coupled with the unitary method. That's it. I hope this is clear for all of you. Practice well. If you have the basics of percentage and a unitary method, you need not write anything on the paper. Thank you so much, students.